So I enter. Hi, here's the X. See, the first three is the X. One, two, three, high, low, high, move. And go. One, two, three, high, low, high, move. Oh, one, two, three, high, low, high. <laughs> Circle. Not this. You follow? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, what's happening? So first, look. Hips. So there's two types of strikes. A what tick and a lop tick. A lop tick is a follow through. Now if you notice, you know, I'm gonna tell you guys something really good you guys did with the stick design. I don't, did you do this on purpose or did you just end up this way? By the way, these are some of the best sticks I've ever swung. What do you think, Clay? Yeah, this is great. Yeah, shit. All right, that's what I'll use from now on, Budo Brothers. <laughs> no joke, that feels good. So, <laughs> they've given it to you here. Maybe, maybe they read my mind and knew. <laughs> See this, this area and above is where you make contact on the other person's stick when you're training. Because if you're making contact here, you, you can hit each other's hands. Does that make sense? In a fight, of course, when he goes to swing, boom, I'm going to take the hand. Does that make sense? But when you're training this coordination drill, so you can feel what it's like to actually hit and hit safely, protect your partner is one of the most important things. Because A, you don't want your partner to get hurt, because that sucks for them. And B, it sucks for you if they get hurt, then you don't have somebody to train with. You follow? So it sucks for everyone. So if you real, see real slow, boom, boom. What do you notice when he's moving and I'm moving? Do you, do, you see, do you remember the six box from earlier? Look at our shoulders. Look at our hips. Look at our feet. Look at our elbows. Then I circle. I circle. I chase him. He chases me. Boom, 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 boom. Circle. He chases. Do you see how my body is moving from? The waist. So don't swing the stick to swing the stick. Move your legs in waist and let that create the X. Don't do it this way. And then even, do you see this? Do you, do you see the difference? What is that practicing? It's not practicing, it's not practicing the shot. So what the type of strike we're doing is follow through. What tick is a retraction? Like a jab? A jab would be retraction, right? A jab is a retraction, and a follow through would be if I swung through like that. Did everybody hear with me what I'm saying? One is a throw, and one is a retraction. So first is follow through, <laughs> retraction. Now, after that, the third beat, we're going to change level and go low. So high, boom, high, low. Now, notice when we go low, we don't do low like this butt out. Okay, when in doubt, don't stick your butt out. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, never stick your butt out. <laughs> Keep it under. Are you going to say something? It's not necessary to react. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look. High, high, low. So you see when we go low, do you see if I don't move for a second, Clay, if I go to Clay's knee, I don't go to Clay's knee like this. Right? You see it? I go here. So if he extends, you see it? It's like no different than like a hand or hand combat when you attack your body, you have to change the 
hundred percent. So now you're practicing coordination and change levels. Remember earlier I said to you, there can be no wasted motion or movement in anything we do. So even this drill is going to your empty hands. It's going to your grappling. It's going to every single thing, your knife. You feel me? You have to see that there must be, here's the word, transfer technology. Transfer technology. Transfer technology. So what do I mean by transfer technology? The skills that you get from drills transfer to other skills. The skills that you get from drills from the stick transfer to empty hands. Transfer to ground, transfer to clinch. Do you feel what I'm saying? Transfer to trapping. There's a transfer technology. That's what the weapon is the greatest thing for, training the weapon, is it gives you skills that transfer across all other arts. It's transfer technology. The next thing is I could replace this with a knife and do the same thing. I could replace this with a baseball bat and do the same thing. Replace this with a staff and do the same thing. I could pick up a chair and do the same thing. See, the skill transfers to whatever I hold in my hand. Does it make sense? Okay. See this again? Be smooth. High, low, high. Now look only at my left hand. You see the open and close. Open and close. Abierto, cerrado. Right? Open and close. Open and close. <laughs> Come again. Okay? So high. High, low. And he starts. High, high, low. And then I start. High, high, low. And then he starts. High, high, low. And then I start. High, high, low. You get it? When your eyes get used to picking this up, which moves at 150 to 120 miles per hour, when you go back to do this, it goes in slow motion. So another thing for trapping, a lot of the, you do, you do stick, you'll get good at trapping. You get to do stick, you'll get good at boxing. Because it moves so fast. So your body has to, your mind adjusts, your eyes adjust to that. Now when I shift to open, you see when I'm here, to open, look, I don't go like this, I just shift my body, look, closed, open, closed, open, look, is this, what, what shape is this? X, see, I'm, I finish closed, I go open, but look, when I go open, I also, what, so you see what's happening? High, high. Low. Now don't move for me, Clay. There's the eye. You see it? It's here. So it's not. It's this. And then look, when he does it, what does he do? He also covers his eye. We're not going to make the touch there, but I need you to see that when you do shift the chamber, that you're covering this line as you shift the changer. Or you're taking the eye as you shift the chamber. That you're not going high, high, low, and then going and leaving the center open. High, high, low. Do you see how I shift and change? I'm covered the whole time. Open. This is closed fighting. So you have to know preliminary analysis. When you fight somebody, do they go like, if they approach you like this, what's their style going to be? Closed. If they go like this, what are they? Okay, you feel what I'm saying? So if I'm going to start with the open, I'm open, right? So when I go open, where do I go? Now, to do the backhand, look, if I do this, do you see this? Half my body didn't move. So now the backhand is open. The retraction is closed. Then it's open, closed. So look, open, closed, open, closed. Oh, sorry. Open, closed, open, closed, open, closed, open. You see it? Closed, open, closed, open, closed, open. Otherwise, if this hand is just dead, it looks like this. It's, there's a half. Do you see what, did you see how I'm, this whole side of my body is not working, so what is everything, what's everything is a pull system. So now look at me with the pull system. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, pull. 
Yeah? Okay, go. Uh, 